Hello, underachievers. How old do you think I look? I always wonder how old people think I am. Like, I'm very self-conscious, so I always want to know how people perceive- I always- Fuck. I always want to know how people perceive me, but also, like, I kind of just want to know how old I look. So, I am 19 years old. I was born on the 18th of August, 1999. I'm literally gonna insert a picture of my passport if you don't believe me. So yeah, I'm an adult. I've moved out of my parents' house. I pay rent. I have my own boyfriend. I have my own boyfriend. I have my own, but... I have my own. That sounds weird. I pay for my own haircuts. Before you guys make any comments, I know my hair looks shit. I'm getting it cut soon. I just couldn't get it cut because if I got it cut, I would have, like, uh, frosted tips, and I don't want that, so it will be cut soon and I won't look this bad. I do loads of other adult things, like washing dishes, but some people think I'm a lot younger than I am. So personally, I think I look, like, around my age. I think... Youngest would be 18. I think I look 19, but that's just because I know I'm 19, I guess. I wholeheartedly agree that before I started testosterone, I looked like a little baby. But I look a lot older now, I think. I, like, I, want, I don't want to look young. I've asked people a few times how old they think I look, and sometimes people have said like 12 or like 14, and I just think they're very, very stupid. So yeah, why am I making a video of this, and why do I care, and why am I so aware of how I look, and why do I care how much... Blah, 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 blah. Why do I... <laughs> Why do I care how old people think I look? So this all started when I started getting like bigger on Instagram and social media. If you've been here for a while, you know that I used to not reveal my age. There was this whole big thing about my age and people would guess how old I was and people would start exposed accounts being like, oh, Noah's, Noah's 16 or whatever. Like it was a big thing and like I, I overshared way too much about every other aspect of my life, but I just did not reveal how old I was. Literally, I went through GCSEs and went through A levels and I just didn't say anything about them because I didn't want people knowing how old I was. And the reason I hid my age was because I was trans and and I didn't want people knowing that I was 17, 16, whatever, and my voice hadn't dropped. If they know I was like 17, if they knew, no. If they knew I was 17 and my voice hadn't dropped, they'd probably be like, oh, trans, that's a shame. So yeah, for a while my age was just a massive secret, which is a bit weird. It is a bit weird. And I understand why people were kind of weird about it, because I literally could have been like a 30-year-old dude and I could be like, you know hanging out with like 16 year olds, but like I was, I was like 16. So here's a funny story. Around the time where I was like 17, 16, 17, 18, this website called Famous Birthdays made me a profile. And they had like all my personal information, like my name was Noah Adams, I grew up with a brother, I played rugby when I was younger, I taught myself guitar. But they also had my age down as 14. Like they said I was born in like 2002 or three or one or something. So when Famous Birthdays put up my profile, everybody just thought I was 14. And it was just this accepted thing that I was just a 14 year old boy, which is why my voice hadn't dropped. And to be fair, I think well, I was an uh, people treated me like a 14 year old and that's probably probably influenced me a bit as to why I acted like a 14 year old. But I was like 17. I was 17 years old doing my A-levels and people were going around saying I was 14. And I guess it's technically not lying, but like I didn't really clear up the rumours. Like people would be like, Noah, why don't you tell us your age? We know you're 14 and I'd be like, so yeah, for a while my age was such a big thing on the internet, I'm, wait, no, I'm making out like I was some, like, massive, like, mystery, and I was so relevant, I wasn't, it's just, for the people that followed me and the people that, like, were interested in my life, they, they either thought I was, like, lying about my age when I was 30, or they thought I was 14, and they were both wrong, and I wasn't technically lying, but I wasn't telling the truth, so everything I've just been talking about, um, that all happened on the internet in real life, I think I look my age, or, like, a bit younger, I don't want to look like a baby, I'm kind of past the whole, like, being treated as a kid thing, I'm bored of that. So I thought I'd just tell you guys about some weird experiences I've had that involve my age. So I went out to the pub once, I don't drink, but I went because I was going with a friend and somebody asked if I was his little brother. I was, I was not his little brother. We're like, <laughs> we're an entire different race. Like there is no similarity at all. I just, it was so embarrassing. And he had to be like, no. Nah, it's not, it's not my brother. Another time when I was 16, um, I went to the cinema to see a movie with my friend and I got ID'd. And that would have been fine, but the rating was a 12. Like, it was, it was a movie for 12 year olds and I got ID'd. Which I didn't even think was a thing, like, I didn't think you'd get ID'd for like, for like, 12 movies. Like, you could probably sneak a 6 year old in there, but the cinema I went to, they just ID'd me. Or maybe the dude was just being an asshole, but it was literally just like, ID please, and I was like, I don't, why, why? What? Similar thing happened when I was 18 and got ID'd for a 15, which is not as embarrassing, but it's still quite embarrassing. Like, the maturity gap between an 18-year-old and a 15-year-old is quite big, and I was just like, okay, that's chill, don't worry. Another funny thing that happened to do with my age is that YouTube's disabled all my comments for all of my comment sections on all of my YouTube videos. And they said it was because I was a minor. Now, if you read up the YouTube guidelines, they disable comments on videos of people who are 13 or younger. Like, are you, are you having a laugh? 
13. They thought I was 13. They thought I was younger than 13. So I emailed YouTube, I fucking went on customer service, and at first they said it was because I was a minor, and then I was like, I'm not a minor, here's a picture of my passport, I'm 19, I didn't make videos from when I was younger than 13. And then they switched the reason for disabling my comments over to the fact that maybe my, my commenters were at risk and that they had to turn off my comments because maybe my commenters, maybe my followers would bully each other. Or they'd say something that would put themselves at risk. Which is fucked up! Fuck that. They said it was temporary, but I, st I think it's bullshit. But here's a weird thing about how I look and like my age and how old I look. I get let into bars, I get let into clubs, I, I didn't get ID'd. I've never been ID'd for that. So obviously some people think I'm old enough, some people think I'm of age. Which is always nice when you're nearly 20. I'm 20 in August and people still think I'm 14. Also when I go to restaurants I get offered alcohol, which in England the drinking age is 18. And I know I don't drink, but... They're offering me alcohol, they must at least think I'm 18. So, you can all fuck off saying I look 12, because you're all wrong, you fat fuckers. I'm not, you're not fat, I'm sorry, that, that was just the first word that came to my head. It's nothing wrong being fat. Ah, I should stop talking. So like, a major issue I have with people saying I look younger than I actually am, is that it makes me feel weird. And it makes people around me probably feel a bit weird. If I'm hanging out with people in their 20s and someone thinks I'm like 14, it's a bit weird. I don't understand because I don't look like I don't I don't think I look 14. There's a mirror there by the way. So of course it sucks, but I guess there's some benefits to looking maybe a bit younger sometimes or people thinking I look younger. I don't know man, I don't want to look young, bored of it. So one benefit is I get cheap train tickets. I tell the ticket inspector that I am age 15. Apparently I was born 18th of August 2003 and that means that I can get child tickets and they're half the price of adult tickets. So I guess I guess I can, I can youngen myself up. <laughs> Another benefit is that maybe strangers don't uh, pick on me as much. Maybe if they're drunk and they see a grown man, they'll be like, hey, you're a faggot. And they won't do that to me because I'm a child and maybe they'll think I'll cry, which I, I probably would cry. Actually, that's happened before. I got hate crimed, but well, that's for another video. I guess the final benefit is that when I'm 50, I'll look probably like 45, 47. Maybe my butt will sag slower than most. I'll have tight skin. I'll be in my prime for longer than others. Or, or maybe like the testosterone will catch up with me and I'll just go bald and then get really ugly. No one will love me. So yeah, that's the video, I guess. Because you can't comment here, I think it's maybe an idea to once to once you finish watching this video, you can go and comment on my recent Instagram photo because I post every night when I post a video and we can have a discussion about this video in there because I do miss interacting with you guys and it makes me sad seeing a video with no comments because then I can't talk to you guys and then I don't know what you think of my videos and then I get sad because I do like you guys and I want to interact with you. So yeah, if you watch this video, go comment on my Instagram recent. I'll be answering comments, I guess. I, I will try and do that. It will be fun. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day or don't. Uh, see you later losers. Goodbye. Give me punch. Give me punch. Give me punch.